Hey everybody, it's Oksana and this is going to be a very random kind of collective haul. Basically some things I wanted to share with you, some things I wanted to just talk to you about. And um, they're not beauty products, but I do have some kind of like fashion clothing type items. So I will start with those. And they're on the floor right here, so I'm just going to grab them. Uh, first are, I also have some shoes too. But um, I will get to those in a minute. First are some leggings. I know I just did a video about uh, LuLaRoe leggings, uh, which I really like. And um, I thought this pattern was really cool. So I just bought a pair of these. And then I finally tried the tween size. So these are the tween. The other ones are the one size. And this is a pattern that I've been um, trying really hard to find because it's got little snowflakes on it and it's so cute. Uh, but it's been really hard, but I finally found it in a tween, and I was like, well, this is uh, my chance to also try the tween size. And how it compares, um, if you're really uh, petite, like I am, I'm 5'2", and um, I think that these are pretty good. They're like a tiny bit short, like with the one size, they are pretty much gathered on my ankles, like they're a lot longer than my actual legs, so it just they're just kind of gathered up. Uh, with these, they're not, and they're like a little bit above, you know, that like bone in your ankle, that side bone. So they're not like short, like capri pants kind of short. They're just, you know, they're not long either, I guess. I don't know what I mean by that. Like they're fine. The length of them is fine. When I wear boots, you, they don't go higher than like ankle boots or anything like that. So um, they're fine in terms of that and they fit me very well. They still go up quite high. I think that's just the style of the um, the waistband. I thought that maybe the one size just happened, you know, because I'm short, it just happened to go up really, you know, high on me. Uh, but I think when they switched over to using this like wide yoga waistband, they kind of like ended up adding more material and making them taller because these still go up above my belly button. So it's just the way that they fit. Uh, but they're fine. I think that I probably um, like this size. But ideally, I think right in between the tween and the one size would be like the most perfect size for me. But um, I can wear the tween. So these are the two leggings that I got. And then um, I'll grab the shoes in one minute. I also got, oh, I just got dirt on this from the shoes. I should have um, like washed my shoes off because I've worn them, you know, and I've worn them out and it's like really gross and muddy outside today. So they're really dirty. But um, I ordered this online from Victoria's Secret and it is like a sports bra. It's a strappy um, bralette. It's actually called a bralette, which I think is a little bit misleading because it's pretty much like a sports bra um, and it's very padded and it kind of gives you the push up um, effect. So I um, was basically looking for a nice bralette. I love bralettes to wear. I don't really like the underwire bras. I hate underwire. It's just so uncomfortable and hurts. And um, I don't have particularly large, <laughs> you know, large chests, so I don't need a lot of support. I basically am looking for something really comfortable. And I really like stuff that is padded um, just so that like nothing, nothing shows through, you know, like just even if it's like a thin little foamy pad, that's all I need. But apparently it's really difficult to find. I also really like the um, bralettes that you can kind of slip on over your head that don't have that closure because sometimes that closure can be uncomfortable too. And it can just like feel too tight or when you're like leaning back on it, you can feel it digging into your back. So I just really like kind of like the, you know, even like the seamless style. So I'm still on the hunt for like the perfect bralette. Um, I also want it to be kind of lower cut so that when I wear shirts, it doesn't like come out sticking out from the shirts. Um, this one's really nice and it's really comfortable, but I'm going to end up wearing it as a sports bra just because of the way that it is. And I think this is going to like be visible under a lot of shirts as well. Um, the way that it's designed. So I don't know, we'll see, but it's comfortable and I like it. So I just thought I'd throw it into this random haul video. Okay, so I'll grab my shoes. I'll start with the dirty ones. <laughs> so these are the dirty shoes and they are on, um, what brand is this? Na Natural Soul, which is like a sub brand of Naturalizer, I believe. 
<clears throat> and they're all, you know, vegan leather. They're not, none of them are real fur or real leather or anything like that. And um, I thought that I would buy these because they looked really cute and I like the fur on them and just, I don't know, they look like they're nice boots and I needed ones to uh, wear with clothing that like black would match with. So I have a pair of black ankle boots that are kind of like that, I guess like the Ugg style, you know, the really bulky kind and they have a knit, they're not Uggs, but they have like a knitted top. I think they're actually from Target. Uh, but they're just, they're kind of big and, and bulky looking. Um, and not to say that these are, you know, slender, dainty looking boots or anything, but I don't know, these go better with certain outfits, I feel like, than those. So um, I was excited to get another pair of black or gray boots. And they're really, really comfortable. So I really like them. And then <clears throat> there was a pair of boots that I was dying to have by this brand. It's called Muck Lux. And um, they, I couldn't find them anywhere. They're really cute. I forget what they're called, but I just couldn't find them anywhere um, in my size. They're just sold out all over the place, um, especially in like the brown beigey color that I was looking for. So these are another pair of boots by that same brand that are just a little different. The ones I liked were kind of like knitted up top um, and these are not. And they actually, they look really cute and they look cute in pictures and they look cute on my camera now. But for some reason when I put them on, they're just, the way that they're so wide right here, it looks a little weird. Um, but I think, <clears throat> sorry, my voice is still really messed up from being sick, but I think that um, wearing them like this might be really cute too. So I'm still figuring out what I think of these, but this is just kind of like a little New Year's present to myself, I guess. Um, so now, <coughs> sorry, now a little bit more random things. Um, this is something my husband got me. It, actually, he got it to me for Christmas. I'm not really showing my Christmas presents or anything, but I wanted to show this one thing because <laughs> I think it's just funny. It's those um, selfie things that you stick your phone in and you like take a picture. So I'm trying to get the hang of it, and it's surprisingly difficult. <laughs> and I'm trying to like figure out how to take selfies of myself. It took me forever to figure out that you'd like lift this up and stick your phone in there, first of all. Uh, but it works pretty well. I posted a picture on Instagram just today with it. So, um, I just think it's funny. I never thought that I would be the owner of one of these things, but apparently I am. Um, and then this sweatshirt, um, I posted this on Instagram a while back when I first got it, but I just want to show it to you guys because I'm absolutely in love with it. And it is inspired by a video game character. So I think it's just cool anyways. Like even if I didn't play this game, like the style of this is really cool, but I happen to, that happens to be one of my favorite games. So um, it's from Dragon Age Inquisition and it's inspired by Dorian, who is an amazing character that I absolutely love. So um, the neck is really neat. It's got almost like this little turtleneck built in and you can tighten it up. So that's awesome because my neck always gets cold and I don't know, I just love that. And I love like, this isn't a cowl, but the, some other sweatshirts I have are kind of like a cowl. And so I like things that cover your neck, basically. And it has a hood. The only thing, it's got these little studs. That's kind of a downside, I guess, is I thought these were going to be really cool, these buckles. But look how big they are and how far they stick out. They ended up being extremely bulky looking. I think if they used a thinner, more flexible material and made these a little smaller, um, it would look less like a stray jacket and more just it would look better. Um, as my husband said, it's like your, um, your sweatshirt looks like a stray jacket. So they're on both of the arms. And I think what I'm gonna try and do is I'm gonna try and actually um, remove these. I'm not like the best seamstress, but I think that I can handle um, removing these. So we'll see, we'll see how it goes. I don't know. I'm still trying to figure out what to do with this because they kind of bother me when I wear it because <clears throat> they're so gigantic. Oh, and last but not least, this is another random thing. I should have saved this for my favorites. I'm gonna be like the end of December struggling with, or I'm sorry, the end of January, struggling to figure out my January favorites. And, but I wanted to show you guys I am obsessed with little children's comic books. <laughs> I know, who would have thought? <laughs> this is what it looks like. 
and these are so good. They are so good and so addicting. So we started, my daughter and I, she just turned five. Um, she got for Christmas, a family member gave us a, um, another one of these comic books that's by a different author and it's called Zeta the Space Girl. And so there's three books in that series so far. And we got one, we read it. I had to buy the other two because I was like obsessed. We read them all um, and my daughter like got obsessed with them also. And you know, it's one of those things where like, it looks like a big book. It does read pretty fast because it is a comic book, you know, but she's like, no, keep reading, you know, don't put it down. And I was like, we should stop and save some for later. And she's like, no, no, I want to know what happens. And I was like, me too, let's just read it, you know. And um, this is the second book. This is a Stonekeeper, or it's called Amulet, I guess, <clears throat> but the I guess the title is Stonekeeper's Curse. So I uh, think there's like seven of these, and we have the first three. We're reading the third one right now, and I just ordered four, five, six, I think. So the only one I don't, I'm not going to have is the newest one, because um, you can buy them used on Amazon for pretty cheap. So I am just obsessed, obsessed. These are such good stories, and like... If you're into like adventure type things, like I'm really into RPGs when it comes to gaming and I really like these kinds of stories where it's like magic and swords rather than, you know, the more modern day stuff. Like I like this medieval and also magical kind of stuff. So anyways, this is just really, really good. Um, I like those kinds of stories. So it just gets really addicting. So I wanted to mention it in case you have children or you just want to get them for yourself because... I would totally get them myself now that I know about them. <laughs> but anyways, so this is, I guess, a really random video of randomness, but I really wanted to show you guys the clothes that I got, and then I wanted to tell you about all these things. So now I have, and hopefully you have been able to stick with this video, and if you have, thank you for watching it all the way till the end, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.